Hey, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, we're going to talk about the other's name list. Other's name list. And so what happens a lot of times is if you're in here and you're writing a check, QuickBooks will ask you if it's a vendor or where you're spending the money. So let's just say you want to add into it, into, Quick, into your QuickBooks file, and you want to do a quick add. Here you have your choices. Is it a vendor? Is it a customer? Is it an employee or other? And if you are first new to QuickBooks and you're not quite sure, a lot of times what people do is click other. Make sure if it's somewhere you spend money, it's a vendor. If it's somebody who's paying you, it's a customer. Employee is someone you pay W-2 wages to. Other is used in other ways, not when you're paying somebody. But let's just say in this example, you clicked other and you click OK. And let's just say we put $100 in here. So we'll put this to computer and internet expenses, whatever, or just create something depending on what you use. You could be using Intuit for merchant, whatever. So we're going to click save and close. Now when we go up under list, you go down here to other names list, you'll find Intuit. So often when I work with people one-on-one -on -one and they go into the vendor to find where they spent money and it's not sitting there. So if we went in under vendor, even though we wrote a check, there would be no Intuit inside of our QuickBooks. So you want to make sure you move it over because there's it's hard to find what you're looking for. You could go into your check register and look that way, but it's not very convenient. So what you do is you right click or go down to edit and you're going to want edit other name. And right here it says change type. Click change type and you're going to want to make that a vendor. Just know that once you change it, you cannot move it back. So go ahead and click OK. It's just reminding you it can't be undone. Now you'll notice I don't have anything. Sometimes people have tons of things in their other names list. Go into list, other names list, and see if you have anything in there. And if they're vendors, move them over to vendor. Now what you can do is accidentally have duplicates. Then you're going to pick the same name and merge them. Just remember, once you merge, you can't unmerge. If you want to learn about that, feel free to check it out. I'll add up above a link on how to merge. All right, so now you'll see Intuit here under vendors and you'll see the check that we included. So again, if you have problems with other names list, make sure you move them to where they belong and do not select other name list other names in the future. Have an amazing day. If you need help with QuickBooks, feel free to check out Confidence with QuickBooks, my online course. Or if you want more personalized one-on-one, -on -one, feel free to book a strategy session to find out about working with me privately. Have an amazing day. Talk to you guys soon. And if you guys want to get these tips and tricks, I send them, I do these now every other week. You want to get them directly to your inbox, feel free to click on the link above and put your name and email address to get my tips and tricks. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.